Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Moon from Triple Moon Goddess 1111. I am doing a pick a card reading on what your spiritual gifts and your life purpose, what you need to know, messages to your higher self regarding your gifts, and a little bit about your past life, questions to ponder and consider, and guidance for your gifts and what you need to work on. So I am doing a collaboration with the beautiful V Loving Crystals and I will put her link down below. So we're both doing a pick a card reading. We're using some of the angel cards and I'm just curious of what card she has. Um, so yeah, just go ahead and um, stick around. You might get messages in all the cards. There might be a special message. If you clicked on this video, there's a special message here for you. Um, so, just gonna go ahead and career. And that's what you need to know and your life purpose. Um, I love V, love loving crystals. Um, she's so sweet. Hey girl, how's it going? Um, we were going to do a Halloween um, pick a card reading. Maybe we'll do that one later. So. And this is your past life. This is going on in your past life to see if anything's connected into your from your past life so keep watching maybe there's special messages how to use your gifts um you know what you need to work on um maybe there's a special message what you need to know to your higher self all right is that all of them let's see i feel like we're forgetting something we're gonna go ahead and i'm just gonna throw this one in the Guardian Angel Tarot from Doreen Virtue. You can still, um, oh no, this deck is hard to find. I'm sorry. But Rally Valentine might come out with it with his name on it. So um, I think it would be fair to him to be able to sell his deck, you know. But... Anyways, I hope you guys are all staying safe. I love you guys so much. And just stick around and thank you so much for watching my video. I think this is the last deck. Or I've had so many decks to choose from. Okay. So I want you to go ahead and use your intuition. We're gonna go ahead and dive into this. We're gonna have quartz and an angel, amethyst and a dove, lapis and a key. Can you guys see this? All right. Go ahead and use your intuition. Will it be pile one, pile two, pile three? The beautiful angel, the beautiful dove, or the magical key? So we're gonna go ahead and take this. Actually, we'll just leave this on here for you. All right, so group one, let's see what your life purpose Let's see what your life purpose is and what you need to know. Oh, look, we got children. So maybe your life purpose was to um, guide children and, you know, something about children. Your life purpose involves helping, teaching, and healing children. You know, maybe you're a natural healer. Um... You like to work with children. Maybe you don't have children and you want children. Oh, see, teaching. Wow, that's 
need teaching. You inspire young people to learn. So I had to pull two life purposes. That's nice teaching. See, and there's the children right there. So there's something about teaching. You love teaching. You love what you do. Um, this is your life purpose, teaching. Maybe you need to, um, or maybe you're going to school for this, but it's a calling to teach and be with children. Let's see, what else do we got? Another life purpose. Okay, I blended in the life purpose with the career, so... You will have new ideas and inspirations that will guide your divine calling. What is meant for you will not leave you as long as you continue to push forward. Ask for what you need and things will align for you to carry out your vision. So, yep, this is your life purpose. Um... Use your ideas and your inspirations. Maybe you use these to help the children. You know, you use your ideas to make their curriculum or something or to do the fun and creative projects with the kids, you know. But push forward if you're going to school. Um, love what you do. Use your ideas, you know. But... Ask for what you need. So this is what I'm getting. Something um, about school. Take up some classes. You know, a lot of the um, dealing with children. When I worked for um, on base with some children, it's like you're going to school again. You're taking these modules, but you're still um, watching the children. And you have these little things that you do with them, like curriculums with art or math or just fun crafts and stuff like that but that is your life purpose and this is what you need to know the message to your higher self is Rosetta you have a gift for working with young people and your divine purpose involves helping or teaching parenting children See, helping or teaching and parenting children. Oh my God, that's beautiful. And then your past life is mother. Wow, I'm getting chills. Mother, see, maybe in your past life, you were a mother, you know, and you loved your children so much. Um, that's what I'm getting. Maybe if you don't have children now, this is why you love children, or even if you have children, um, you were just you have a special bond with children. You love to guide children the right, right blah, 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 sorry. You love to guide children the right way. Um, you're a good mentor. Um, these children, like these days, the children, you know, some of them are so misguided, but. There's something about you that you can guide the children the right way and make a difference in their life. That's what I'm getting. And your um, angel tarot is guardian of action. It is time for you to step up and be the leader. Your natural leadership skills are being called into action. This is your moment in the sun. So move into the light and shine for all you see. This card is also about a person who has charisma, is inspiring, enjoys a challenge, and loves the spotlight. See, the kids see you as this leader, you know, to them. They look up to you. You're their mentor. It's beautiful. And then look, we got child again. Wow. Wow. You care deeply about children and they readily respond to your love. All children, including your own inner child, require love, affection, and attention. We can clear and open your heart and schedule so that you can give more time and energy 
to the children who need you. So this was your question of ponder and consider is giving more time to children who need you. And then this is guidance for your gifts and what you need to work on. Detox your friendships. Your abundance flow is being affected by the people with whom you're spending time. So be discerning about your associations and your relationships. Choose to be with people who are inspiring and generous and supportive. So, you know, maybe sometimes people take advantage of you because you're so nurturing. Um, you're so caring. So, like, you attract all these people. You don't mean to attract them. But they just waste your time, some of them. It's kind of blocking your life purpose, you know. So, you need to detox your friendships. Like, get rid of things that don't serve you. You don't really have a whole lot of time because you need all this time for those children. And so, this is what you need to work on. Choose to be with people who are inspiring, generous, and supportive. So, that's group one. It's a beautiful angel. All right, group two, let's see what you have. What does group two have? Something about body work. Maybe you're a tattoo artist. Let's see. Your life purpose involves body work such as massage therapy, energy healing, physical therapy, or exercise training. For some of you, um, maybe you do tattooing too. See the tattoo? Some of you are a massage therapist or like, you know the sound therapy where you do the singing bowls and the gongs and stuff? So, energy healing, physical therapy, or exercise training. Maybe some of you are um, one of those exercise coach. I'm a personal trainer. I'm getting a lot of energy though because we have amethyst here and the dove from above, you know. I'm getting a lot of like spiritual, physical therapy or energy healing i do massage therapy too i love this body work beautiful so this is your um what your spiritual gift is and your life purpose oh see energy healing this goes with this card body work energy healing and it says energy healing on there oh my god Energy healing, your natural energy healing abilities are an important part of your life purpose. So this is why we have the dove and the amethyst. It also has to do with healing people. And so there's something about your hands are very healing. That's such a beautiful card. Some of you probably do like yoga, teach yoga classes, um, meditational, but this is a, an important part of your life purpose is your natural healing. We're going to take a look at your past life and see where that comes into play. So another part of your spiritual gifts and your life purpose is spirituality. You are being guided to discover your own unique spiritual path at this time. You may be called to become a spiritual advisor, healer, see there it is, healer. Healer or anything in the occult. Your finances could use some spell work. Ask your angels. 
and your guides for assistance. So you need to, this message, you know, what you need to know is to ask your angels for, your, for assistance. And for some of you that are into energy healing, maybe you do tarot too. See how she has the cards. Um, maybe you also do tarot. Maybe you do all three of these. That's why it's good to keep watching because you never know what else is going to come up. So some people have talents, you know, all the talents. Maybe you do everything. Maybe you do tarot. Maybe you um, like group one. Maybe you work with children. But I'm sensing a deep sense of energy healing. Like maybe Ray K or something. Or And we have Ariel. New psychic and spiritual experiences are changing the way you view the world and yourself. Allow your spiritual gifts to open through study, prayer, and meditation. See? It looks like she's meditating. So this is your message to your higher self regarding your spiritual gifts. See? Allow your spiritual gifts to open through study, prayer, and meditation. That's beautiful. So group two is all about spirituality. And this could take play in your past life. Let's see. Oh, medicine woman, some type of, maybe in your past life, you were a shaman or shaman healing. Um, you did medicine healing and it carried over into this lifetime. So you were a medicine man or a woman. Because in your past life, you can be a man or a woman. But um, this is why you know how to heal people. So um, this is your questions or this is um, part of your, regarding your gifts. Okay, so this is regarding your spiritual gifts. Is medicine man or woman? So yeah, in your past life, you were probably a like Native American or a shaman, shamanic, shamanic healer. That's nice, beautiful. And then we got helper of thought. So this card kind of looks like the Nine of Pentacles, you know? So your life is about to start very fast. This is your questions you need to ponder and consider, okay? Helper of thought. Your life is about to start moving very fast. Events that seem to be on hold suddenly require all your attention. There is no time to sit and ponder. You got to get moving. Review the details as best you can. You know you will meet or are someone with a very quick mind who instantly grasps what to do. This person is both confident and courageous. So you're good at what you do. So you need to just keep doing what you do. If you didn't know that you could be a spiritual healer, maybe this is your, um, this is a confirmation that you need to get moving and take classes or, you know, helper of thought. So, yeah, this person is both confident and courageous. So you're confident in what you do. And then, oh, there's energy work. Life can be electrifying because it's very existence in your energy. Your body is remarkable energy field that will positively respond to loving treatments. Your hands and heart are activated to give healing energy to your loved ones and to clients. So for some of you, you're a massage therapist. But it's like they love you because they feel like a baby, like you nurture them. They think of you as this beautiful golden angel. When you do your treatments, they think of you of like, oh my God, I'm in heaven. He's so beautiful. 
and then this this will help you with your um, guidance for your gifts and what you need to work on. You need to eat healthy, clean energy food. When you fill your body with healthy, full organic diet, you increase your energy levels and ability to focus. This automatically leads to more efficiency and better ideas and higher vibration, which attracts golden opportunities and beneficial relationships. So this is probably the one where you need to, you know, get, get moving on. You need to eat more healthier foods, but you might already be doing this, you know, this helps you and this helps your brain, you know, think, and this puts you in a higher vibration. So helper of thought. It's beautiful. All right, so that's group two. If you want to watch group three, go ahead and see if it's connected. All right, so group three, the lapis and the key. All right, what do we got group three? We got leadership. Take charge of this situation. So it's something about a leadership role where um, you're always taking charge. You're always, they look upon you to take charge, you know, take charge. You're the leader. It's like this heroic person they see in you. It's beautiful. Take charge of this situation. And then we got speaker. Maybe you're some type of motivational speaker. Your life purpose involves your skills of oration. So it ha has to do with, you know, oration, the throat chakra. We also have the colors in here, the th throat chakra. So maybe your leadership skills have something to do with being a speaker, a motivational speaker. Um, maybe you're a life coach. Maybe your life purpose is you're a life coach or a motivational speaker, um, entrepreneur, something of that sort. Oh, we got motivator. See, there you go. Motivator and then there's a guy speaking. Motivator. There is a skill you possess that needs to be shared with the world. Consider a career in coaching, speaking, lobbying, activism, or mentoring. You may be in need of motivation yourself or needing inspiration. See, so, um, yeah, speaker, um, lobbying, activism, mentoring, I'm getting a lot of the I'm downloads. It's a life coach. Um, you know, you're a life coach, a motivational speaker. See, motivator. That's what I said, like motivational speaker. Wow, that goes so perfect together. All right. So your message to your higher self regarding your spiritual gifts is... Oceana, take action. You're in touch with your truth in this situation and you need to trust your gut and lovingly assert yourself. So this is a calling for you and it's telling you this is a calling for you. And like it says here, um, Maybe you need some motivation yourself or needing inspiration. So you need to trust your gut and lovingly assert yourself to this situation. Okay. There's people out there that need you. That's such a beautiful card. Angel in the ocean. Um, so we got... 
Greco-Roman. Something about, um, when I see this, when I see this, it's like heaven speaking. It's like the higher realms calling, the beams of light, like messages are coming. So um, your past life, your past life involves the Roman um, Greeks. You know how they made the writings on the walls? So I believe maybe you were somehow connected with the Egyptians. You know how they went to Greece or something like that? I feel that you were some type of person that wrote in the, um, what do you call it? The scribes on the wall, the, um, anyways, you were the person that probably carved and something about mathematics, um, and transcribing stuff on the wall. You know how you see those beautiful Egyptian arts or like the pictures within the details, something about math, you know, you were probably a leader a Greek leader or something like that in your past life. And this is why you take on this leadership role. You are a Greek. Yeah, maybe you are a Roman Greek, um, crossed Egyptian. And um, you did the, um, what do you call it? What do they call those? Anyways, you know what I'm talking about where they carve the carvings in the walls. I have it on the tip of my tongue. I know what it is. Um, but you were somebody that did the carvings or you were a leader. You could have been a, a god, you know, a Roman god, you know. So maybe you were, this is why you were a leader. I'm getting, I'm seeing scribing and carving in the wall and teaching and showing people. Um, and you're leading the way. So yeah, I'm getting a leader leadership here. So maybe this carried on through your your life now as in your past life you were a leader. And this is why you like this leadership role, motivational speaker. You are probably the one that see how like motivational speakers um you're carving the stories in the wall. Like it's like a story you're trying to tell everybody or so that way, um, people can see this in the future. And this is why you did it. But your past life carries on into your, your life now. So that's beautiful. And then this is the questions you need to ponder and consider. Oops. Fair decisions. Number eight, your angels are aware that you have concerns, but be assured that there's nothing to worry about. Stand your ground and know that heaven is shining its divine light upon the situation and all is being healed. Take the time to review all the details thoroughly. Forgiveness will bring peace to everyone involved. Maybe there's some type of thing you have in your own um, from your past life, you know, um, past like trauma or something, but there's something significant about the number eight eternity. So you know how it says to take a look at your own, maybe you need to motivate yourself or, um, Maybe you just need to be forgiving, more forgiving to others. Or maybe you are forgiving to others and you know this. So I think it's your fair because you're a motivational speaker or you're a leader. Um, you make fair decisions and this um, forgiveness brings peace to everyone involved. So you're a team worker, you know, you're... You're a speaker, leadership, speaker, motivator. It's beautiful. 
but something about taking action and asserting yourself. You know, something about fair decisions. I think you're just fair with people because you're a speaker of some sort or a coach and you're fair to people. That's what I'm getting. So, it's beautiful. Okay, and so... Guidance for your gifts. Something about entrepreneur... Self-employment, okay, self-appoint, that's hard to see this. Self-employment suits your disposition and in, in I'm sorry, I can't read it because it's orange and white. Self-employment suits your disposition and intentions. Working for yourself allows you to better follow your intuition and divine guidance. We are your co-workers and your teammates who remain loyally by your side to ensure you your success in all ways. So your guidance for your gifts, just know that your angels are always there. Um, so, yeah, you're probably an entrepreneur, uh, an entrepreneur, leadership. You can be all three, you know. That's why I said to go ahead and watch through. Maybe you're all three. But this is a leadership entrepreneur. Just know this is your um, special guidance for your gifts. It's for you to know that your angels are always there, okay? Who remain by your side and ensure your success in all ways. So your angels are guiding you, so you don't need to worry. See, an entrepreneur, self-employment, you know? Maybe you're kind of a little stressed out. Um, where's that card? You know, fair decisions. Maybe you're telling yourself, hey, you know, maybe I just need to open my own business and not work for anyone else. And that's where the fair decisions come from. You just need to be an entrepreneur and you're trying to make this decision and you're kind of nervous about it. But just know that the angels are there guiding you. Beautiful. And then we have, this is your questions to ponder and things you need to work on. Unlimited ideas. Your mind is one with God's infinite mind. See, infinite, number eight. Infinite mind. Therefore, you have complete access to unlimited ideas Guaranteed to bring blessings. All you need to do is take divinely guided action to allow these ideas to come in fruition. So you need to take action. Something about taking action now. Maybe all these ideas you've been thinking of, um, all these beautiful ideas that you have, and you just need to get on it now. And your angels are there for you. It's divinely guided. All you need to do is take divinely guided action to allow these ideas to come to fruition. So it's something about your ideas. Your ideas. Maybe you're stuck between speaker, motivator, and... Maybe you should just do all, you know, you're a leader. Leadership. Leadership, unlimited ideas. See, take charge of the situation. That's what it's telling you here. All you need to do is take divine guided action 
and allow these ideas to come into fruition. And that's your guidance to help you. This is what you need to work on, okay? Wow, that's beautiful. I love that. I'm just curious to see what um, V11 Crystals came up with. So go ahead to the link down below and check out her video. And we'll try to bring you another collaboration. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. Go ahead and hit like and subscribe. This will help support my channel so I can bring you more beautiful pick a card readings. I, and I also have a lot of giveaways. When I reach a thousand subscribers, I will give away tarot cards, skincare. Anyways, I love you guys. Be safe. Don't forget to watch the video down below. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.